guys, Mike here. Um, so yeah, RPG fans, um, this one's for you. This is a uh, my modded PSP 2000. Um, it's a silver Daxter ice one, whatever it's called. And uh, I'm gonna do a video today, another video today. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be running one of the great uh, RPGs of all time. Feel sad for the company and died down. I, you know, it did finish completely, pretty much. But uh, I mean, still a great RPG. A lot of people still reference to it, and I just wanted to show it running off my PSP. And uh, yeah, I mean, <sighs> I just you know, this is one of those games that just back then you just knew that it was a crazy game. You should know what it is by just this starting and. It was just, you know, like something so crazy, and, um, it's a revolutionary RPG, I mean, it doesn't matter how old it possibly can be, and is, whatever, I mean, but it's still such a great RPG, even to this day, so, just let me go and watch. day that my brother first played this and I just couldn't get enough of it I mean I myself you know didn't fully play it I didn't even fully play the game to well until the PlayStation but you know I mean I didn't actually play the game for a while because I was still young and you know I, I used to just watch my brother play a lot and that's kind of what got me into gaming when I was younger and, um, when he played this game, it was just like, you know, damn, this game was just amazing. You know, how it looked, it was so interesting to watch, and I actually haven't played too much on my PSP, but, I mean, it was interesting to be able to have it on my PSP, and come on, this is Lunar, man. So, look, um, it runs perfect on my PSP, by the way, so... But yeah, I mean, it's Lunar 2 running off my PSP. It's crazy, man. I mean, this game's awesome. If you're an RPG fan, you have to have played this, or you have to play this. It's on the PlayStation, it's on the Sega CD. Um, the first one, the remake of it, is on the PSP. Um, this is the second one. Eternal Blue, the first one, Silver Star. Um, it's from the all, both from the company, Working Designs, which I believe went bankrupt and never were able to make that Lunar Three. I believe that was supposed to come out for the PS Two. I believe it was in 1999. It was announced or it was supposed to come out. But uh, I mean, yeah, guys. I mean, this is like one of the greats of greats RPGs. I mean, listen. I mean, this is Sega CD. It's old, man. I mean, but I'm saying, I'm saying that because look how amazing it looks and sounds. Yes, you over there. What are you doing in this area? We might ask you the same thing, Mister. I wasn't talking to your cat. I was talking to you, boy. Hello. Time for your eye exam. I am not a cat. Knock it off, Ruby. You're gonna get us in trouble. My name is Hero, and this is Ruby. Identify yourself. I mean, look at this. This is, you know, certainly. For how old it is, it's amazing. Leo, leader of Alpina's Guard, and this is it's the amazing, man. But this. yeah, I mean, it runs off the PSP now, perfectly. And um. I'm telling you guys, I mean, you should download the ROM if you have a modded PSP and definitely play this game. Or I prefer you should play it on the PlayStation or you should play it on the. I mean, no ways, but you should play it on the Sega Saturn. But yeah, I just want to show you guys, you know, just to remember this game and how crazy it was. I'm sure a lot of RPG fans have already played it, but for the ones that haven't, 
telling you, you're missing out. It's a really, really good game, but just wanted to share Lunar, you know, Eternal Blue on the PSP, but it wasn't meant to be a long video, but yeah. So. But until then, guys, um, yeah, so, uh, if you guys want, you know, leave me a comment, let me know, um, what do you think, I mean, your memories of the game or whatever, but, yeah, guys, um, until then, take it easy.